Hello everybody, this is Frank back with another video and in this video I'm going to discuss my way of fighting tryhards. Now we all know tryhards, those players that kill themselves repeatedly, they talk a lot of shit despite the fact they use nothing but snipers, combat MGs, and rocket launchers. And every time you scratch them they kill themselves so you can't even kill them so yeah they have no skill of staying alive one bit. Anyway. Now, first what I'm going to cover is, we all know the Luxos, rocket bikes, all that annoying shit. This right here is what you're going to want, it's the Stromberg. As it takes six homing missiles if you're inside the car, and it'll take three homing missiles if you're outside the car, one RPGs if you're outside, and two RPGs if you're inside, and five ex It takes, uh, I believe, six explosive snipers to take this thing down. Very good car, has the same missiles as, say, the Luxo. Not as accurate as it, but it might as well be the same. <clears throat> now that's only if they're driving like a, a Deluxe or the Oppressor. Or the Oppressor Mark II nowadays. And outside of all that, <clears throat> the vehicles I have over here are other vehicles that you want to add to your arsenal. Now, and one thing I'd like to point out is you always want to fight in the city. You never ever want to fight in the desert because as I've stated before triads use nothing but combat MGs, RPGs and snipers and their sniper spam is extremely annoying in the desert so always lure triads to the city <clears throat> when you're in the city get this the only problem with getting this is just like when you go ghost organization triads most likely go passive mode till you're back on radar why because they don't have the strength well, the balls they even fight you off radar. They say they have skill, but they really don't. And if they trash talk, you know what you do? Ignore them and keep fighting. So if a trial goes passive on your tank, when you're in your tank at least, follow him around. <coughs> so he doesn't get like a rocket bike or something and then blow that shit to smithereens. And right here, right behind me up there, there is a Pegasus spawn point. That's where I got my jet right here, which is the Hydra. You all know the Hydra. It's the Tryhard's best friend. This thing, now, if you don't have one, always carry the explosive sniper with you. I don't carry explosive rounds because I hate having to use the nerf gun, which is this. And I use this gun for fighting Tryhards if I'm ever on the ground. Simply because it's powerful, but I've given up fighting on the ground for something a little more easier. But when tryhards go to the nearest helipad, it's most likely going to be this. Keep that in mind, just follow him. The most common places. If you like fighting up here, the tryhard goes ghost organization. Either they'll go here or here, because that's two personal aircraft spawns. Or they'll be heading down right here. That's a uh, Pegasus spawn location. Or sometimes right here, as that's personal aircraft spawn. If they're somewhere over here. They will most likely go up here because that's where a person aircraft spawn is alongside right here on the other side of the track and right here up top of this hospital as that's where a Pegasus spawn point is as well. If you want to fight Triads, make sure that you have something like a pyro, a laser, or a starling. Me, I prefer the laser because it's more agile than this. The cannons are not as deadly as those, but they are deadly. Now, now that I've covered aircraft and the tank, triads all you really gotta do is waste their time. They will get tired of trying to kill you and they'll go kill someone else because they will realize that you'll be impossible to kill while you're in the tank because you'll be blowing up everything they try to get in. Now, the terabyte. Why is the terabyte such a magnificent thing? By the way, I noticed a glitch that if you try to go in the back from the cab, sometimes you'll get stuck in it. Fuck off LJT. You'll get stuck in an infinite black screen. It's happened to me three times when me and my crew was trying to fight these uh, triads that was fucking with another person in our crew. So if you do enter the back of the terabyte, make sure you always enter from here. Not the cab, because that is a glitch fest. 
This is the black suite I'm talking about. I didn't get stuck in it this time. Now, why is the tail bite good exactly? Not only, not only does the tail bite have this in here, it also has these missions. You have the uh, sand battery, which is really efficient, as you can actually lock on the foot mobiles. You, you can lock on the players without them being in cars. All you have to do is point it at them. But this stupid rocket launcher is probably one of the worst in terms of lock-on mechanics. This thing is extremely inconsistent and will only work if it feels like it. Don't expect it to work every time, but it is something better than nothing. This right here, I did not mean to sit down. Let me get right back up. Now you're probably wondering, why the drone? Now with the drones, when tryouts go off radar, let me show you something. Notice how I'm in thermal, right? Let me sit down, wait for my dude to sit down and get comfortable. I'm gonna launch a drone, take a look at this. Yeah, I am in thermal while in the drone. And yes, I can see heat signatures as you see. When a tryhard goes off radar, try this out. If somebody's in your organization or your motorcycle club, they can see the drone just like that on my map. And it'll pop up for them too. And like say, another thing I'd like to point out is, hold on, let me get out of the drone. I'm gonna have to wait a minute before I can launch another drone, but that's all right. Let me fold this up. Exit the nerve center. Like I've stated, if you ever go in the back, do not enter it from the cab. You can get stuck in the loading screen. Now, when it comes to ground combat, the most common rifles the Trihors use is either the special car. It's actually just a special carbine, I've noticed. The favorite weapons are the special carbine, the homing rocket, not the RPG. Why? Because the homing rocket shoots way faster. The assault shotgun, these two snipers, right? Especially this one, if you have the scope on it. And the, I'm pretty sure the most favorite weapon is this one. As when you go in first person, it takes away all the recoil. One thing you never want to do, let me see if I can find a sharp corner. Alright. <clears throat> Over here is where the impound thing is. Like say, you're hiding around that corner, right here. There's a triad right there. Most of the time, they're going to take a homing rocket and fire it into the corner, and that will kill you. Never ever approach from a corner. What you do, is you want to run out, do this, and spam the living shit out of them, shooting them. Keep rolling and rolling and rolling, or, if you want, you can spam grenades. Another thing you can do, is try to get a height advantage. Remember how I was talking about right here? Go right here, toss a frag or something right there. Boom, easy kill. Now, interesting fact, but not an interesting fact, but one thing I like to point out is with the addition to the Oppressor Mark II, it does have flares. Keep that in mind. And if you were to shoot somebody off their bike or something or whatever, do not destroy it. Just puppy guard it. Or just ignore the bike and go right back after them because destroying that bike is only hurting you. Don't ever destroy Oppressors or whatever. It'll slow them down for like three seconds, but they'll have it right back out. And one thing I have noticed useless on here is the uh, this. All this does is show you the player stats, which is completely useless when you can just go into the stats, not of online players or whatever. Couple other tricks that I started using. Now a lot of people will hate me for this, but hey, tryhards are cheap, so you gotta fight back playing cheap. Go to abilities, drop yourself some bull shark. I know, like I said, people would call me a bitch for using bull shark, but hey, it's a tryhard, they're cheap, so be cheap back. 
Another thing you can do is drop Bull Shark and use this. As you will enter rage mode with this, but whatever you do, don't switch your weapon. Because for whatever reason, that does crash your game. It's happened to a couple friends of mine. A couple areas that you never want to go when fighting triads. One, the beach. It's a try-hard sniping paradise. Another one is the canals. Even though somebody's running away from me, speak of the devil. Try or trying to grieve vehicle cargo. I better help that dude real quick. Dude's trying to grief his vehicle cargo. Another thing I like to point out is when a tryhard is in a jet and you know exactly where he is. Hey, Make sure that you go off radar. I can do it briefly. <clears throat> you don't want him knowing where you are. I tend to go after jets a lot. Hello everybody, I thought I would end the video right here, but that one dude I blew up in the jet, yeah, he went in passive mode and got another jet. I don't know why Rockstar allows this. Jets, you should not be allowed to go in passive mode if you're in a jet. It is bullshit. And I have no problem shooting down other jets. Now he is injured, so I'll just finish him off with missiles. Okay, he's doing too much of a sharp turn for that. Dead. <sighs> anyway, figured I toss in my opinion on why passive mode should not be allowed when you're in a jet. And one thing I'd like to point out about tryhards is. If you see him go passive mode, a lot of times they will be getting in jets. Rockstar, for fuck's sake, make it that you can't go in passive mode when you're in a jet. It's fucking stupid. Cause, let me give y'all a few examples real quick. Uh, lead us travel. You cannot go in passive mode. Oops, not maze bank. What the fuck am I doing? You cannot go in passive mode if you are in the Volatus or any of the Golden Plains. But yet, in a weaponized jet, you can still go passive. Anyway, once again, thank you all for watching, everybody. I'll stop bothering y'all now.